Hello all and welcome to another video and welcome to Winchester. The weekend, the week has finally arrived when I am going to embark on my first ever through hike which is the South Downs Way. Very excited, aiming to get up around about half past five, pack up, get some breakfast in Winchester and then head down to the City Mill which is the start, the official start of the South Downs Way. So I'm probably just going to take it easy, kick back, rest and just kind of get myself into a good space to start the trail tomorrow. Well good morning everyone, welcome to the rainy start of the South Downs Way. I do pick them don't I? In true Londoner outdoors style, the weather is terrible. Um, but the way I'm viewing it is that I'd rather have this right at the beginning where I'm feeling my optimum sort of energy wise and morale wise. So I'm hoping I can just sort of push on through it. Um, this rain is due to kind of carry on until about lunchtime today. In the forecast it was described as light rain, but I would not describe this as light rain. So I've got the full waterproofs on and we're just gonna go for it. Uh, I, I tried to find the start and I found the official start um, but it's just behind some railings because I'm here so early in the morning so I can't actually get in there. So here we go, 100 miles, first through hike, let's go. weather is officially very very grim but we're gonna push on it's muddy it's rainy it's wet but it's okay because I'm officially on the trail I've just done the uh, the obligatory shot over the M3 motorway uh, it's almost like the official kind of start it starts in Winchester city centre but you feel like once you've got over the motorway you're properly out of the city and take a look at this I feel like I'm actually heading into the countryside now which is good news for this East Londoner my first official marker it is 98 miles to Eastbourne so two miles done 98 miles to go Welcome back, uh, we are about six miles in, so I'm about halfway to Exton, which is my sort of main kind of first goal. Um, it's, been a, uh, it's been a bit of a tricky start to be fair. Um, the tracks have been so muddy. I mean, really, really muddy. It's the, the worst kind of slimy, claggy mud on top of chalk. So really glad. <laughs> I've got the trekking poles, I just don't know how I would have managed without the trekking poles, they really got me out of a sticky situation, literally. Uh, so, coming up to uh, a farm called Holden Farm, and if my memory, my research serves me correctly, they might have some facilities there to use. I don't know if you can see that, but that sign says cafe. Chocolate fudge brownie and warm black coffee. It really doesn't get much better than that. Right, so we're about to head off. I want to give a big shout out to these guys. This is Cafe at Holden Farm. It's a new cafe here at the farm. Today is their first day of opening and I'm their first customer. 
Thanks very much, everyone. The um, the chocolate the chocolate brownie was amazing. I feel like a new person. So you don't have to camp here. You can just come by for a chocolate brownie. Absolutely. Brilliant. Best chocolate brownies. <laughs> All right. Take care. Maybe Thanks a lot. Like. See you soon. Bye. Bye. So I was I was walking up this track just here, and I saw this group of intrepid hikers <laughs> with um, what, what, do you, what is the official name for it? A skull. A, a skull. Yeah. A rowing skull. Yeah, skull. And I thought I thought that they were just taking a break by it, <laughs> but it actually belongs to them. And then I thought, where's the nearest waterway? And and there there isn't. So. Do you mind just explaining the situation, the mystery <laughs> of the skull in the middle of the South Downs? Thanks. We are, we're actually on a practice hike this weekend. So we're walking, we started in Winchester, early doors this morning, picked up the skull um, and we're carrying it. We're doing about 30 kilometers today, but that's in practice for next weekend when we are carrying it the entire length of the South Downs Way. So we'll be walking from Winchester and finishing in Eastbourne, 100 miles. That's um, incredible. <laughs> yeah, and there's, and there's a bigger project. Is there, a, what's the big? There is a bigger project, <laughs> yes. It's all gearing up to, um, the four of us are part of a, a team, There She Rose, and we're rowing across the Atlantic at the end of the year. So it's all gearing up to that. The reason right. that we're carrying the boat is to symbolize all of the barriers to sport and exercise that girls face particularly around the age of kind of puberty so be that physical um you know there are no football clubs rugby clubs for girls no changing rooms or it might be um you know kind of confidence issues or whatever so that's the whole premise of our campaign is the whole reason that we the four of us have come together to row across the Atlantic Ocean is to inspire more girls and women to get into sport um, all four of us are athletes in some capacity well, that, <laughs> that's amazing and really inspiring and yeah wishing you all the best thank you so much the South Downs and the end of the year yeah thank well. you you too thank you So I'm on mile 10 at the moment and uh, I just had an interesting chat with a hiker coming from the opposite direction to me and I explained to him how it had been a really, really wet and muddy morning and he said to me, expect the same if not worse to come. He said there's a river up ahead that's um, kind of going over the trail and it's pretty bad. It's time for a late lunch. My lunch is some, got some vacuum packed wraps, some bread wraps and some squeezy cheese. Right, we are at about mile 15 now. The feet have had a bit of a, a second life. <laughs> about an hour ago, they were really killing me. It was hard. It was quite hard for some reason, but they've sort of come back to life and have got me up to um, Old Winchester Hill. So I'm gonna push on, but I am quite looking forward to stopping and putting the tent up. Hello folks, it's seven o'clock and I'm knackered. 
the reason I'm knackered is that I've had to really look uh, for a place to camp. The open access land that I spotted on the OS map wasn't accessible in any way. <laughs> Um, and there was nothing. I kept walking and walking and there was nothing. So I was kind of getting a bit panicky about where I was going to camp. Um, but as luck would have it, I passed um, a hill that had um, a stile and it's, um, it's got a public right of way so people, people can kind of pass through it. So there we go. Uh, so the South Downs Way is over there. I know it looks like a river. Um, I'm going to have to worry about that in the morning. It's a submerged South Downs way. <laughs> it actually looks like a canal. Ridiculous. Anyway, we'll, we'll worry about that in the morning. But at least I've got the tent up. Such a relief. Such a relief. And I've only got about half an hour until sunset. So I'm hoping uh, no farmer comes up over the hill and asks me what I'm doing here. Um, but this is just great. It's flattish. Uh, it's not muddy. Um, yeah, I'm hoping this is going to just work. Not bad, eh? So tonight's dinner is something to eat. Vegetable chipotle chilli with rice. Very hungry indeed. Okay, so the meal is hydrating, rehydrating, in my homemade warm, cosy pouch made out of some... Um, silver kind of bubble wrap parcel stuff and, uh, and I'm just kind of letting it nestle in my down jacket um, just to maximize the uh, the warmth retain the heat <laughs> 